Thank you for joining me today on a Mask Monday, the first one of December. I cannot believe it's December already. Today, I am going to be trying out this one. This is the Uzo, Uzo, not exactly sure how to say that, Power Capsule Mask. And this one, I don't know if you can tell on the price tag, it was regularly $5.50. I got it on clearance for $1.37 at Ulta. It is made in Korea and it says it's a recovery mask. I've never tried one of these. I have the capsule right there. And let's see, most of the directions are in a foreign language, but they do have English on here as well. You press the capsule button containing the recovery energy to activate the special ingredient before using this product to recover damaged skin immediately. Because my skin has been a little dry. It's getting cold here. It says home care mask program. And let's see if there's anything in the back that I need to mention. So you leave it on 10 to 20 minutes. I'd love to know if you have ever tried one of these capsule mask things. So it tells you to press right there and then I guess it releases it into the package and it says mix. So we'll see, it doesn't say like if you should shake it or just kind of mix it like that. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna press that. Hmm. Maybe I need to lay it down on a flat surface. I need to lay it down on a flat surface and press really hard. And it kind of then made a pop noise, but there's still some in there. And that is like really hard. So then you kind of have to press the whole thing, it looks well, like. it is harder than I thought it would be. So you press that. I guess it has to be pretty hard so that it doesn't get pressed in shipping and stuff and on the stores. But And then I can't hear anything, so I don't think shaking it is going to do anything. So let's kind of move it around. Maybe that will do something. And this says it's good for all skin types. My skin type is dry to normal. During the summer, I don't get too dry, but in the winter, I get really dry. I'm in the Midwest. Let's see how that looks. So the Little slits to open it is in the bottom, which is unusual. Usually they're on the top, but I'm assuming since this goes down, that's why they have it that way. And as I'm opening it, there's definitely essence stuff already right there. Get my towel on my lap. Smells just kind of fresh and clean and looks like a regular sheet mask. You can see where the capsule was in there and yeah, it does look like it just kind of breaks open. I'm going to open that completely because I'm just curious. There is a lot on here. So that worked, I guess, with pushing the stuff inside there. So we're going to put this on. It doesn't say to put it on first and then take off the layer, but I'm thinking it seems like sometimes that's what's easier to do. Paper back, paper layer off. Definitely has a lot of product on it. And there is a scent, just overall, like kind of a clean scent. Eye holes feel a little small, so we'll just open those up a little bit. And since this is a recovery mask, sometimes this part gets really dry and red, but I'm gonna try to leave that on there. You, a lot of times I cut that part off because that's really the only place I'm sensitive. But since this is recovery, you would think that it would be okay, but we will see. So it definitely yeah, feels very wet. There's a lot of product, but I think that that went on pretty good. Smoothed out pretty easy. 
and yeah, not really a hard, what's going on here? Just a wrinkle, I guess. So not really hard to apply or get smoothed out. So that is nice and definitely a lot of product got in there. So I'm going to wait the 20 minutes and I'll be back. So I've waited the 20 minutes. It's definitely a cool feeling mask. The longer I had it on, it actually seemed the more cooling that it got. It is tingling a little bit around my chin area and around my hairline kind of here, but yeah, definitely very, very cooling. Okay. So it didn't say anything about like if you should tap it in or rub it in or anything. There is still a lot of essence on my face. Like, I don't think that I could pat this all in. There is definitely a lot. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it and rub it. Feels cooling to the touch even on my hands, the product that's left on my face. It's itching a little bit on my jawline and my chin for some reason. Here it is. I opened it up and what it looks like. So that's the capsule. And then you can see at the very bottom, maybe there's a little sliver. So when you press it, it must pop that open. Of course, I'm red around here, which is where I always get red. And it does, like I said, feel a little bit tingly around here. The re claims, there's not really claims necessarily. It just says that it's recovery, but I do think that I look brightened and my skin feels a little plumper. I'm not sure if it looks it, but that's how it feels. It definitely feels hydrating. It's tacky to the touch right now. I will talk about the ranking of it and also announce the giveaway winner for the Makeup Revolution Soap Palette. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. It is free to you. Every once in a while, I just do giveaways. I don't announce them necessarily in the title or anything like that. It's just usually at the end of the video, I will announce if I'm doing a giveaway or not. So make sure you subscribe and watch the videos till the end. Let's go over ranking on this mask. For packaging, I would probably give it a B because I feel like this was I think the packaging and the concept is cool to have the capsule here. It looks cool, but it was hard to press and hard to get out. And I don't know if I really mixed it as well as I should have. And I feel like I kind of wish that it had the claims on it a little bit more than just recovery. Like, is it supposed to brighten or what it's supposed to do? I'm glad I finally tried one of these with the capsule, but application, I think that it was easy once you figure that out. The mask itself to put on was easy to put on, easy to apply, lay flat, so that's fine. The price, I wouldn't pay this for this. It was $5.50 normal. I'd probably do a B because it feels nice, but so overall, I'd probably give it a B just because it was okay. It's kind of a cool concept. Would I purchase a power capsule mask again? No, I'm glad I did. Definitely glad that it was on clearance, but now I've now that I've tried it once, I don't feel like I'm missing out. Now down below if you have tried any of the Power Capsule Mask and what do you Now for the giveaway winner. Ooh, ooh. The winner of the Makeup Revolution palette is, of course, I am not good at pronunciation if you watch my channel at all. You know, I'm just going to spell it and put it up on the screen here. A-M-O-F-A dot O. You are the winner of the palette. What I need you to do is you can either email me at stacyleebeauty at gmail.com. My email is down in the description box and let me know that you are the winner or you can comment down below with your Instagram name or an email and how I can contact you and I will reach out to you. We are in December and it is the holiday time and I know we can all be busy. I am going to give a little bit of extra time this go around. So I am giving you until the end of the week, Friday, midnight central standard time to reach out to me. If I don't hear from you by Friday, I will move on to the next winner. So congratulations. I hope that you will like this palette and love it as much as I do. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who entered. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.